What's up, my N-words? How's everybody doing out there? My boss is working me like shit. It's like, it's like Groundhog's Day. Every time I have these videos, I say the same shit. I'm extremely tired. It is now almost 9 o'clock. I'm just getting home. I've been home every day this week at 8 o'clock. I get up at 6.30 in the morning. I'm home at 8. But I got a raise this week. So that means buy more shit, right? I'm running out of room. You guys have seen me post a lot of videos about selling stuff. It's not because I'm getting rid of, I'm getting out of the hobby by any means. When I first started, I was trying to, you know, I started out getting ones that I liked, then I was trying to go for like the whole series, like of all the Jason and all the Myers. And I think I've owned all the great Myers, except for like part five. And now I'm just trying to get what movies I really like. Like part after part two for me, Myers, I really wasn't into the other movies at all. It's just my opinion. Part one and two are the grails for me. Um, what's in this box is the first time I've ever purchased something directly from this gentleman, who is a gentleman, awesome dude, talking on the phone. I try to talk to him as much as I can on the phone. Just a fucking amazing talent. Oh my God. Daniel Horn is the man. Um, he's starting to get out there more and more, I think. Uh, I didn't know who he was till Rudy Munoz posted something. I did a little research after that, so Rudy kind of, thanks Rudy, he, op he opened the door for Thomas and Daniel to come into my life as far as, you know, seeing what true quality is and not making the customer wait forever for everything. It's pricey, but I don't care. That's what I want. I want good quality items. I don't mind paying the cost. Um, just for the quality these guys put out and the turnaround rate is very impressive for the quality that these pieces are. Um, so yeah, I'm very lucky. I'm sure you guys have seen the Burned Loomis. I was lucky enough from snagging the first copy of that. He's gonna label that first copy. Um, just cool, it's never been done before. I've never seen a Burned Loomis. Um, he showed me some update photos. I posted some. Trevor's trying to push some for him. So guys, get out there and check uh, Check that post out and pick yourself up a Loomis. So they're all going to be resin, as all his pieces are now. Um, he's not really on the for or on the pages. He doesn't have time. He's a full. He, he, he's working in his workshop all day long, every day. Paint whether it's painting, incredible painter. Whether it's painting or you know doing stuff for customers, as far as sculpts and uh, getting the customers out their stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I do know a few things that these guys are up to, Thomas and Daniel. Uh, uh, there's a few things I'm saving up for. One is from Thomas. I have another piece from Thomas that is basically coming to me. I just have to pay it off, pay for it. Um, I'm gonna try to get that done as soon as possible. Uh, and there's something else Daniel's doing later in the summer, early spring. And I got the first copy of that, I think, sealed in the deal, as far as that goes, too, which I'm very, very stoked about, super pumped about. Uh, my wife came home, told me this was coming, that, like, this was here, and I talked to Daniel on the phone um, yesterday, and he said it should be here today, which I was like, you're crazy, there's no way. Uh, but it, it, here it is. He, he, looked, he lives a little bit um, closer to me than Thomas does, but they both live in, like, Jersey, so... This piece has come basically the next day, and Thomas has sometimes come. If Thomas nails out first thing in the morning, he would come to me the next day. If he nails out in the afternoon, I have to wait two weeks. So, this is the first time I've broken the ice with him. I scored the Drayton Sawyer. That one's latex. Um, I scored that off Rudy. That's how I found out about uh, Daniel. And then this is Mary Shelley's Frankenstein the Bride. I saw the piece, I fell in love with it. It's an awesome, it's a great movie. It's an amazing movie. It's an amazing piece. I can't wait to open this and see this. Thomas said it was it was incredible when he saw it before Daniel mailed it out. So uh, yeah, let's crack her open. And I got my chainsaw coming from Chainsaw Graphics Monday, and hopefully my part four from Chuck Jarman will be here with that resin hock. That, that thing is fucking incredible too. Holy shit! I'm so glad I got that. So I basically got rid of all my latex Jasons. Um, said I'm going to have that resin part four, that museum quality part four one. I got the Lake Legend from 
from Scareware, and then I might snag like one or two more, and then I'm done with Jason. Um, I'm always saying this shit though, and then I'll go out and get something else. I'm fucking crazy. Let's open this up. Who knows what the fuck I'm gonna do, okay? I'll tell you one thing, do another. I don't, don't want to be that guy. But I definitely don't have a big house right now, so I really have to be careful about what pieces I have. And I also have to respect my wife and her privacy as well as too, because she's not really into this stuff like I am. So, you know, it's not for everybody. It's definitely a lot more tasteful than what I used to collect, which was serial killer number, really. So. Okay. Let's see here now. Simple enough packing job, Daniel, right to the point. There's, there's nothing, you know, when somebody, here's a box. Okay. You got one peanut in there. That's pretty funny. So there you go. There's the box. I'm going to save this box. Um, great box to mail anything out in. I tried to save all my boxes, but I sold like almost eight or nine pieces in like a week. I got rid of my H2O. Yeah, such a great mask by Ben, but it's small, it doesn't fit. I was very disappointed in the size of that mask. I don't, I don't know. If I get heat for it, whatever, shoot me down. I know if it was based off the size of that dude's head, um, the measurements or whatever, then that dude has a peanut head. Because in the movie, he's wearing that mask very comfortably, you can tell. Um, brilliant mask. I loved every inch of that mask, except for the fact that that shit did not fit my head. It was just stretched out, lost all the detail, it looked awful when you wear it. Um, then I sold my H6, that was Williams. Ah, I finally hunted down the perfect H6 and got rid of it. But, you know what? I'm not doing that anymore to myself. I know exactly what I'm doing with my Myers cabinet now. I'm going to keep it one and two. I got my forever one and two. And I'm going to put my Loomis in there and then one other piece is going in there. We'll get, we'll get to that later. Though. So here is the bride. Here is the bride. You know what I mean? I love it, man. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Put this away. There we go. Save all that stuff. Believe me, it's worth it. I can see the little cute little ear. Let's open her up. This is going to fit in my case, finally. I wanted to put some of my scare work. See, like the resin stuff, you don't have to worry about it breaking down all the time. You can put it anywhere. You can put it in, in your ass if you want. But you can really put it anywhere. You can put it you know, on your on your favorite uh, in your favorite cabinet, but you can put it on like a stand, a, a fucking shelf, anything. It's not going to break down every time. And it takes a long time for the to break down as well, but, you know. Open it up. I can already tell you the detail of this thing is going to be real. There's the cats. They love the boxes. Hey guys, what's up? What's up, baby Benjamin? How you doing, Ben? You want to say hi? Say hi, Ben. Damn, Daniel, you made the realest looking cat I've ever seen. Now, this is awesome. This guy's talent is, is, is crazy. Just like Thomas said, this guy sculpts women so well. Um, it's just, just incredible, man. You gotta, I respect anybody who, who can sculpt this fucking well. This is resin, and the stitching is just unreal. Look at that. Uh, this thing is so fucking cool. Oh, uh, it's so creepy. Daniel. Damn, yo, it's so creepy. Look at that shit. Oh. oh, man, I love this, Daniel. You fucking killed this. Look at how creepy she is, guys. Oh, it looks so good in person. You fucking outdid yourself, brother. Man, that is good. Oh, man, look at that. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. The Bride. Hair. It's just crazy, dude. 
Every time you get these, you're gonna have a little bit of hair that's falling out just from shipping, just a little bit. That's okay. Okay. Put that in there, you can just ship that. Any, any something right in that box. This is super cool. I know where it's going, right in my case. Under the blue LED, this is gonna pop that off like crazy. I've been getting so many big pieces and it's kind of weird getting a small piece and let's bring the camera in for some detailed shots of this. Go over it in a little review. Let's check it out. Okay, here she is. Let me hit it and bring you in closer. There she is. She is gorgeous and creepy all at the same time. All of these, all of this is resin and he has to drill all those holes and then put the stitching in, all hand in, tied in. Uh, a lot of work went into this piece. As you see, it's on her lips, on her head. I think this is the second one of these, he told me. So, yeah, number two, he signed it. I don't think he wrote number two on this, but I like the fact he signs his work. Daniel Arnhorn, 2017. Gotta watch this dude right here. This motherfucker was trying to eat my child catcher's hat. So I had to like move shit around. This dude has got a little bit of Satan in him. He's a little satanic. But that's cool. I love cats. Cats are my favorite animals. Like I'm not real I'm not a big dog person. Dogs are good for protection, but cats are very self-maintained. And we have a bunch of them. This bitch is huge. You've never seen her in the video, guys. This is my Norwegian forest cat. This is Marilyn. Look at her feet, dude. Those are some big motherfuckers. She will not let you touch her feet. She will bite the shit out of you. There. There's Benjamin, the ginger. Sweetest cat in the world. Let's get back to the piece. Okay. So here it is. It's gorgeous, Daniel. Even all the little stubble at the top, like she shaved her head. You can see all that detail. These cats are getting on my fucking nerves right now. Dude, you're gonna fuck shit up. See this? Look at this shit. Look at them. Fuckers. They're so cute. Cats are awesome. Look at this guy. What are they gonna get into next, he's saying? What are we gonna fuck with next? Look at this guy. What is he doing? He doesn't know. He's, he's all fucking caught up weird in the box. Look at this. Wow. Okay. So this is incredible. I mean, from the far away, this looks like 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 latex. You know, this is all resin, all of it. And it's just so fucking creepy but beautiful. I really don't know how to describe it other than that. I'm gonna go put this in my case real quick, guys, and I want you to come with me, and then we'll turn the video off. I want to put this under that blue light because it, I think it's going to pop like I think it is. It's going to be awesome. My wife's had enough of these kids tonight. Let's see. Oh, yeah, dude. That's exactly what I wanted. Look at Oh, it's going to be shitty. Hold on. I can counter it with some other light. No. That's a cool picture though. Let's get far away here. It looks really, really cool. There we go. Just how I wanted it to look in this cabinet. It's so cool. It's just such a weird piece. It's totally what I'm going for now, man, with these pieces. I just want some off the wall shit to offset my collection. I don't just want all Myers. I don't just want all Jason. I don't just want, you know, I do have a lot of Leatherface stuff though. <laughs> Kids are fighting. Ugh. Fucking exhausted. When you have kids and they're tired, that's what you go through. Anyway, guys, yeah, I appreciate um, you guys checking out my videos. Still, nobody posting any videos on the page, but that's cool. It's whatever. It's kind of a way for me to keep all my videos for myself so I can watch them later on, show people, show my friends, whatever. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not done by a long shot with any of this stuff. Um, I'm gonna keep this this train rolling. My pass, the passion for for this hobby is definitely still there and growing for me. Uh, 
but yeah, I'm just trying to get rid of a few things and make some room for some really di different oddball pieces for the collection. Um, I want a very intricate, weird collection. I don't just want one thing to collect. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, it's just not for me anymore, you know. I just don't have the room. I, I, I almost wish I had like some kind of a studio or a man cave to where I could acquire and have or like have that many items but at this point i really need to be kind of just careful and and just kind of limit a little bit more and instead of buying like three two or three hundred dollar pieces buy like one eight hundred dollar piece that's what i'm trying to get into more realism more quality pieces for you know and then that way i can limit it plus it's going to look really really good uh, and just kind of pick and choose which pieces that I want for my collection carefully. I really want a silver screen lineup, like the Mummy, Wolfman, you know, Dracula. I have Nosferatu, but like, um, um, who else? Like, I, I would love to get like a, a creature, just some of those old silver screen type deals um, would be awesome. Frankenstein, I have got to get a fucking Frank. And I know Daniel does a few Frankensteins, a few versions, so I might just go through him to get Frankenstein. Uh, I, th I, I believe Thomas and Daniel are going to be my go-to guys for a while here. I'm just going to save up money and then just go through them because I already know what I'm getting into with them. They're great dudes. They live really close. I have a good relationship with them. There's a few pieces I have from a couple gentlemen that uh, I just don't care for anymore. Um, they do great work, but they're very self-centered and self-absorbed. They're, they're assholes, and I just, you know, I have the pieces, and I don't really look at it like they did it. I just kind of um, just enjoy the, 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 the quality of what they've done. But um, as far as they go as people, probably not somebody I'd want to associate with. So we'll just keep that like that, not, not name drop. Um, so yeah, well, I'm really tired. I know I drag on and I talk a lot when I make these videos. I talk a lot in general. I talk. I'd, I'd probably talk to anybody if they would listen. But um, sorry, I, dra I, I, I dragged this video on a little bit longer than I should have. Um, I'm really tired. I'm out of it. Uh, I almost wrecked the van a few times coming home tonight. I've just been we're overworked. I've been I've been getting home every single night this week at like eight o'clock and nine o'clock. I've had no time for my family. I'm fucking exhausted. But I'm diehard. I love this. I want to do these videos for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the videos. I think my cat just broke something else. Motherfuck. God damn it. I love the little furry bitches, though. Okay. Well, you guys have a great weekend. Um, hopefully my Chuck Jarman piece comes in tomorrow, but it's saying Monday. I mean, I, I think there are people are getting some bad weather across the way, so it's fucking shipping up. Um, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, look forward to the Chuck Jarman Part 4 video and the Chainsaw Graphics Part 5 Skin and Bones. And thank you so much, Daniel Horn. It's a killer piece. I'm about to text you and tell you it's a killer piece. I love it. I lo I'm going to love looking at it. I love what it adds to the collection. I need some more chick-type pieces in my collection. Um, so, yeah. Thank you, sir. You're a killer. We're not done by a long shot. And all you guys have a great weekend out there. Bye-bye.